My name is Clay Howie and I'm research head of the Group for Advanced Information Technology here at BCIT. And I'm here today to talk to you about a uh, collaborative uh, effort uh, going on uh, between the uh, Factor 4 project and the Intelligent Microgrid project here at BCIT. So the, um, one of the main ideas is to uh, capture and record how much energy is being used in real time here on campus. And towards that end, we're uh, installing smart meters both to, to measure the electrical consumption and uh, gas consumption here on, on campus. So I'm standing in front of one of the main uh, gas meters here on campus. This is uh, the gas meter for building NE1, also called the English Building. And what we've added to this meter is this device right here, it's called an ERT. And that uh, basically allows us to capture uh, the information in real time coming off the meter so we can tell um, remotely using uh, energy management software developed here at VCIT um, to see how much is being used in real time. So the difference there is that instead of coming around and seeing how much uh, gas has been used since the last time you did a reading, you can see what's going on right now. So this uh, that I was uh, talking about, this talks wirelessly to some gear right behind me, behind BCIT's uh, AFRESH home. So it talks uh, wirelessly to there and then it's uh, translated to a different frequency that is uh, beamed over to an antenna sitting on the roof of our carry building. And from there it talks to uh, gear that was um, donated by a local company here in town called uh, Tantalus and uh, we extract information from that system and present it to the BCIT community using uh, BCIT's energy management uh, software that was developed here at BCIT. So the uh, gas meter ERT that we were uh, looking at earlier talks to this electrical meter here. This electrical meter is located at uh, BCIT's AFRESH home and it measures uh, cons our production from our wind turbine, but it'll also talk to these gas ERTs uh, using a 900 megahertz um, uh, network that then is translated over to this shark fin unit over here that carries a signal on 220 megahertz, which is longer range, over to an antenna located on BCIT's carry building where it communicates with the uh, uh, communication software servers that present the information to the BCIT community. We're inside one of the uh, mechanical rooms in building NE1, which is a large uh, building here on BCIT's Burnaby campus. And uh, we're looking at a meter that's, uh, that has been installed recently. This is a meter from Siemens, and it is uh, measuring the uh, heat consumption for this building. So the heat for this building is provided by BCIT Central Hot Water Heating. And this meter has two components. It's got an ultrasonic flow meter, and it's got two temperature probes. So the temperature probes measure the temperature of the incoming hot water and the outgoing hot water, and then the flow meter measures the rate of flow. So when you have the delta T, the change in the temperature, and the amount of flow, then you can calculate the amount of heat consumed by this building. So we're in uh, a substation which is close to the uh, mechanical room that we were just in, in the basement of NE1, and we're looking at some smart meters uh, from a, a firm called Schneider. Um, so these are electrical meters, but they can also uh, be used to piggyback other signals. So this conduit on the wall is actually coming from that heat meter that we were looking at in the mechanical room and it's talking to one of these meters which is carrying the signal uh, back to the software that presents the information to the BCIT community. And uh, these meters are measuring other things here in this building. Um, this is actually uh, measuring one of the feeds to NE9 which is a, a building in the, in the near vicinity. So beside the uh, meters that were provided by BCIT's facility department, we have meters that were uh, donated about uh, four years ago now by uh, Schneider Electric. And these are measuring uh, specific loads here in building NE1. This is a, a large building on campus. So this meter is measuring uh, the load on the elevators. This one is measuring the load from the uh, chiller. And this one is measuring the main bus work in this building which also feeds buildings um, NE9 and NE3, the AFRESH building. And in addition to these uh, smart meters, which again are hooked into BCIT's energy management system so we can determine in real time right now how much electricity is being used by uh, any of these um, devices here on campus. In addition to that, we have uh, a meter here from QuadLogic. This is a special meter that uses the power lines themselves to carry the communication signal. It's called PLC, Power Line Communication. The challenge with PLC communication is getting that signal through a transformer. 
And this vendor claimed that they could penetrate uh, a single transformer, so that's what we're testing here. The actual electrical meter is installed in the electrical room of the AFresh home, building NE3, and between the AFresh home and this electrical vault, there's a single transformer. So indeed, the PLC signals are penetrating the transformer and they're being picked up by this transponder here and then carried uh, via Ethernet to our energy management uh, software, which is pick picking up the signal.